Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to explain my process and how I came up with the design for the Dubai Creek Moss competition. Uh, this competition was done by Ahmad in April of last year. The competition ended I think in May. And they announced the winners in September. And yeah, I did not win this competition to be honest. I wish I did. <laughs> I could have used the money. But uh, I wanted to explain this design because I don't think architects uh, explain their concepts a lot for some reason and I was thinking it would be like a really good case study on how to approach competitions maybe in architecture or even because it's like a, a mosque design so maybe if you want to design a mosque in the future you might be able to like maybe learn something from this design so before we start let's check the design brief so this was their uh design brief which they gave all the people who wanted or all the firms no actually everyone everyone can get this um this pdf so if you want to uh, compete you get to you have to have the design brief to know what you can and what you can do and what are the rules and regulations and blah 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 so it was in april 2018 uh so first of all they just gave like key facts on the Dubai Key Carbo, which is like their, that's, a, that's a development kind of thing. So they're doing a development for a harbor in Dubai. And there is this uh, tower by Calatrava here, which is like a huge, um, what do you say? I didn't say monument, I would say a huge tower I guess. Anyway, so Calatrava designed this tower which is like basically uh, there's a plaza underneath and it's like a shopping plaza or something and they really wanted a mosque uh, beside the the plaza or the tower to like complement each other. So the, the mosque if you're looking from the site plan it's actually in here. So we have the metro, the metro Dubai. Is gonna pass through here. You have this key point, which is the Dubai Creek Tower, and this is the dis Dubai uh, Creek District, where like most of the people who are actually um, going to pray in the mosque, I think, are coming from here. I'm not really sure. Uh, they gave a, f a bunch of case studies. Like, if you wanted some inspiration, uh, there's like a mosque. I've seen this mosque somewhere. I don't know where. Oh God. Anyway. So there's this mosque here, uh, there's like so many ideas, I mean just a, a little bit of ideas on like what type of uh, architecture they're looking for. So I can tell that they wanted something modern, they didn't want anything really really traditional. Uh, you have to think about these um, the wind towers for your um, air circulation and the humidity because the weather in Dubai is really hot and it's insanely hot to be honest and especially like in june till august no not in june i think it starts at may uh, from may to august end of august it's insanely humid and it's really hot in dubai uh, so you have to be careful about when you're designing something is to consider these things so the most important thing that you have your site plan you need to know the dimensions of the site plan so it was 185 meters by 120 meters and because we're designing a mosque, the most important key is to know where is the direction of Mecca. So Mecca is like the direction of all the prayers. So we pray five times a day. And when we're praying, we have to know where Mecca is so we can face uh, Mecca when we're praying. So this is a really important uh, thing to know when you're designing a mosque is where is the direction of the prayer. So we can see that there's like a connection bridge here going to the another park and you can see there's an action, another connection bridge here which is going to the plaza so they just gave like a few site sections here to understand your uh, project site ex um, extent so every site in the universe there's always an offset so you cannot build like on the edges you have to have an offset from it so it really depends on the site you have to read the regulations of the site how much is the offset from the side borders so they just said here like it should be placed within the linear park axis uh, what's the functions like here these are really important too you have to know how much is the evolution areas uh, the area of the toilets the area of the library the imam quarters stuff like that so you have to really know 
what are the requirements for your design. Okay, so in this section, I'm gonna ex explain my design approach for the, the bike kick moss. Um, yeah, and here I'm just gonna explain how I came up with the idea, uh, how did I like come up with all my concepts, and what is the uh, design um, decisions I I made. So this was this is uh, the main perspective for my design. So as we can see, it's pretty direct. I wanted something very simple, but at the same time very striking, and I wanted to be like. Uh, an icon kind of thing going on so when you see it you know it's a mosque uh, so first thing I want to explain is my sketches uh, when you design anything in architecture you have to have a load of sketches like you always have to have a sketchbook with you you have to sketch all the time so you can see like I know these are really sketches to be honest but these sketches are not for the competition it was for me I had to understand because your mind has to have to work really fast with your sketches but you have to uh, like uh, think while sketching like is it gonna be here how it's gonna be how it's gonna look how I'm gonna design what are the spaces I want to do stuff like that so as you can see my first sketch was a circle so I really at the beginning I thought like maybe I wanted to create some kind of a dome like I wanted a full dome without any base uh, to be my mosque and um, after designing it I realized it was not the best idea ever because it looked really bad like you wouldn't know where the entrance is I couldn't figure out how to divide the space inside it wasn't a good idea so I decided to cut it in half so you can see the sketches here I, uh, I decided to make not actually a dome but half a dome so I immediately cut my dome in half and from there I started to like uh, check where I want the lights to be, um, I, I wanted to come up with some concepts, I had some shading going on, uh, I wanted the corners design, I had a chandelier design, stuff like that, so for anyone who's looking at like an outsider, he'd be like, this is a bunch of, I don't know what kind of sketches, but for me, th this is where I really approached the design seriously in my sketchbook and I started coming up with these um, mental maps and like brainstorming and stuff like that. So you really have to, even when you're not doing competition, even for designing for the university, you have to come up with a lot of sketches before you actually design anything. You cannot just go 3D and then cut the 3D and then just figure it out. A really good design starts with a really bad sketch. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. So the next thing I want to discuss is the concept. So my concept is pretty easy, this is a cross section of the design I had. Uh, so the first thing was the half mass, uh, the half dome massing, so like I said, I really wanted the dome, a full dome at the beginning and then I realized it would be smarter if I cut it in half. So this was the half dome massing. The next thing I wanted was a moving shader, so I had moving shaders on one side. So this is the interior of my... Um, a mosque and this is the exterior of my mosque so these are my moving shaders the next one was I really wanted to incorporate the 99 names of Allah so uh, I put all his names on the exterior um, dome uh, which is gonna give a really good effect I'm gonna explain it after a while the next thing is I wanted multiple floors so usually in mosques we have it's usually one floor unless I don't know I just saw maybe in Mecca that is like more than one floor but I was thinking what if a mosque actually had more than one floor so people can go and just you will have a vertical circulation inside the mosque which is like interior and exterior and you can actually have um, more than one floor for praying which also allows you to have beautiful views on the um, so this side here, it's going to be all the, uh, um, what side is that? The tower of Calatrava will be from here. And you're going to see a lot of beautiful views if you're like, if you're praying and then you're just walking through. And uh, these are like prayer, people praying. So anyway, if these people are praying here, they're going to have like lots of beautiful views on the Dubai Creek Plaza and stuff like that. So this was like one of my ideas. The next thing is the orientation. So I was really lucky 
to come up with the orientation which I had because I immediately realized that if I cut the, the dome from half from this arrow here, I can have my massing pretty easily facing towards Mecca. So the orientation I had was kind of, it was a lucky, it was a lucky design. So basically my half dome showed exactly where the, the prayer is facing. The other uh, section is going to be the sun study. So like I said, in Dubai, it's really hot and the only good weather is usually between, I think, November or like late October till March. And that's like bearable, it's not cold, it's like really nice kind of spring weather. So most of the time in Dubai, it's really humid, it's really hot. So if people are playing on, on the outside, I had to make sure that these shaders, or I had to come up with shaders, and I had to make sure that they will um, give enough shade for people who are actually outside. So I made a lot of um, sun studies, and it was um, perfect because this, uh, during the entire year, so this is my sun bath for a whole year for 24 hours. So you can see that all my um, my shade is actually covering all the areas. So I had to make a lot of these sun studies. Okay. So the next one is the movable shaders. So I really wanted to have some um, kinetic kind of thing, like I wanted it to have some uh, now have this mechanical uh, shading system so we pray five times a day so the first prayer starts uh, at 4 till 5 a.m. there is another prayer which is the one very important it happens between 12 and 2 and there is the next one is um, the Asr which is like 3 to 4 and then we have the Maghrib, which is like 6 to 7, and then we have the Aisha, which is the final one. It's usually at night time between like 7 to 8 or like 8 to 8.30. Anyway, so I really wanted my shaders to be mechanical. And so this is the shader from 6 to 9 a.m., which is like the early hours. So I really, you don't need that much shade in the early hours. And then they start the second one. So it's like three shaders. We have one, two, three. And the next one is from 9 till 12, and the last one is from 12 till, till 4 p.m. So it's like the most important part of the day where the sun is really hot and you really need the shade. So what I also wanted to do is come up with a twist with these shaders. So I really, I chose uh, a Quran verse. So we have like three, um, three verses from the Quran. And I'm going to be honest, I really had a hard time choosing which verses I wanted to have because like these shaders will have these perforated uh, Quran verses on them so when the Sun hits it uh, on the floor like when you're walking towards the, um, the mosque you're gonna notice the the names I mean no, the Quran verse uh, in light like perforated from the shading system so it was really cool I didn't want to do something like that that was kind of awesome and uh, so the more you go throughout the day, the more you are going to... So the first one is going to be وَعَبَادِ الرَّحْمَانِ لَيْبِنِي يَمْشُونَ الْأَرْضِ هَوَنَا الْمُعِذَ خَطَبُهُمْ جَهْبُونَ قَالُوا سَلَامَا So this is the first shader here we have. And then after a while, like from 9 to 12, the other shader will start moving. And you're going to see the next verse. And then uh, the last verse will show at the end of the day from 12 to 4 p.m. And you're going to see the third one together. So at the end of the day, you're going to see all the three shaders uh, with the perforated um, Quran verse on it. So this is like one of the concepts I have. Uh, the exploded isometric. This is where I show uh, all my elements in the design. So the first element I have, so exploded isometric is something we usually do in architecture. If you have a building and you want to show all your elements in it at once, uh, it's a kind of a cool um, approach to design. I mean design presentation basically. So the first one I had is a full curtain wall for the half dome and uh, it's also uh, an entry point for all the levels. So if like there is there is um, vertical circulation so you can enter these um, these levels from outside and from inside the mosque. The main entrance is from here. Uh, we have the women's prayer hall in here and then we have the wudu 
and toilets and men toilets and also the toilets here the wudu is basically ablation so before you pray you have to do the wudu and uh, we have the perforated dome on top and then we have the uh, so I really wanted as much light to enter the building uh, as possible so it's like really bright inside and also I wanted the names of Allah to be perforated so the outer shell as you can see here it's perforated so uh, there is also this concrete so this is translucent concrete so there is concrete outside the perforations which lets the light in so it's a type of concrete that uh, it allows the light to go in the building and at night uh, I really wanted it to uh, have to make the light actually go from the building to outside so when you're outside the, the mosque you can actually see the names also during the night so this is the half dome with the 99 names of Allah perforation the mihrab we have it here so the mihrab is basically where it's like mostly decorated and this is where the imam usually stands to pray and we have the imam stage so the imam stage is like during Fridays the imam makes his speech there and under here we have all the prayer hall plus the um, praying floors and all uh, five levels <clears throat> so the last thing is i want to talk about my minutes so i had the minutes design i had almost six minutes i think so the minutes i wanted them to be functional so they had a pretty simple design i had the library and quran teaching rooms and to, um, both both these levels I had the Imam and the Magdan quarters, I had the office and the admin office. So these are like the requirements they needed for the um, for the design and I decided to incorporate in the minute. So I really wanted the mosque to be something completely separate from the library and the quarters and the offices and stuff like that. So the technical drawings, so you have to submit technical drawings with all your uh, designs so you cannot come up with a 3d and then not explain how you're gonna divide your spaces inside so this is like a this is my technical drawing for the floor plan uh, so number one is the prayer, prayer hall which is this one we have the mihrab which is over here we have the imam stage the women's prayer hall so this is all for the women and the main entrance is from here we have the secondary entrance which is from here so let's say you are doing your ablution here so there's two entrances to the mosque from here one is the main one and the secondary and this is the entrance for the women only we have the wudu for the men in here and in here and for the women is here so this is basically it for my technical drawings i also have the this is the front elevation so the early renders uh which is basically sketch renders so before i I actually came up with the final design. I had to do a few experimental renders where I check if the light actually perforates, uh, how it's gonna show, and it's really tricky because like if you want the words to be correct on your um, from your perforation, you have to do like a, t a type of mirroring, which I didn't need in my shaders, but I actually needed it in my um, interior renders. So if you can see, it's actually it has to face the other way around. So you have to do some uh, or I had to do some uh, render experiments before I came up with my final design even you can see here that I, I had different um, Quranic verses which I, I didn't use so I think at the beginning um, I wanted to put Ayat al-Kursi and then I just changed my mind I just like choose something else so you also have to make sure that the I had to make sure that it's not one so even with the early renders i really wanted to have um like one full and then i decided to, to separate it into three that they become mechanical and they move throughout the day uh so this is like the um the perforated uh, concrete that i was talking about and these are the final renders which i submitted for the competition so this is the first render i had and this is the second one, so this is an isometric, well no, it's a bird's eye view perspective. And as you can see from the light, we have the um, the shaders which are showing the words uh, perfectly on the floor uh, through the light perforation. The other one is, this is what I want to show, that it's actually all the names of Allah fitting perfectly in the half dome which I designed. 
Um, what else? Yeah, this is the top view. So I really wanted water features and the landscape is here. These are the minarets I designed. So it's six of them. And this was the main entrance to the uh, mosque. So this is this was my interior shot. And, this, and in, in this interior shot, I'm showing how the light goes through the perforations to the people who are actually praying. So if you're praying, you're gonna be like showered with uh, the names of Allah as light, um, like a light shower kind of thing going on. And that was kind of a really beautiful idea. Uh, I thought it was a beautiful idea. So <laughs> I think it's nice that when you're praying, you can see the names of Allah like going inside the interior space of the mosque. And this was my night shot. So in this night shot, I'm showing how if you're outside the mosque, you can see the names glowing and uh, giving light from outside the mosque uh, into the exterior of the mosque. So the next thing I'm going to show is the 3D model walkthrough. So anyway, that was it for the Dubai Cake Mosque. Um, I hope you guys learned something from how to design mosques or how to enter competitions in general in architecture. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions about how to design mosques or maybe, I don't know, if you have questions in general, just let me know in the, sec in the comment section and I'll try to answer them. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.